When I'm using a Kessler slider, I often like to do more than just a simple left to right dolly slide. By adding a fluid head to the carriage, I can pan with the slide, and by doing this, it adds a three-dimensional feel to the shot as I wrap around the subject matter. This back pan, as I like to call it, requires skill and concentration to pull off smoothly. Kessler created a slider add-on device called Parallax that does this automatically with precision every time you move the carriage up and down the track. No motor is required and Kessler is making a Parallax system for every slider they manufacture. This is the Parallax bar right here. Adding it to a slider is very simple. What I've done here is I've taken a quick release plate and put it on the bottom of the center bracket. Built into the center plate is a place to store the Allen key that you're going to use to attach the screws. And take this three foot cine slider, place it on top of the center bracket, lining up the two end pieces here in the holes. And then with four screws, you attach here, you put two here, and attach here, and that's how you mount the parallax bar. Next, take the panning camera platform, open it up like this, slide it down the end of the rod, curling it inward like this, and you need to locate the 3 8 hole that's furthest away from you and thread the panning camera platform on top of the cine slider carriage. Now because the parallax bar is zeroed out between the two etch marks, when I slide my camera up and down the cine slider, it operates as if it's just a normal everyday slider. If you want to perform a parallax move, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your slider is square with your subject. So if you were to measure from this end to this end, forming a triangle to your subject, these two numbers would be the same. If I bring the camera down to the end of the track and I adjust the parallax bar by pulling on it, the camera pans and now it's pointed at my object. I tighten down this end, slide the camera down the track, it locks onto my subject, but as I get to this end of the track, I can adjust it a little bit because this parallax rod has flex in it to get my subject centered. And now as I move the camera up and down the slider, you get that parallaxing three-dimensional feel in that shot as the camera moves up and down the track. Another cool and unique shot you can get with the parallax system is something called travel pan. Travel pan is the opposite of back pan and it's great for sweeping landscape shots or interiors. As you're traveling down the track, the camera is panning with the move. And it's definitely a unique move that you can accomplish by using this system. You can also use Kessler Parallax in vertical mode. By doing a vertical back pan, the camera locks onto an object while it ascends and descends for a really cool shot. The Kessler Parallax system allows you to get all of these shots quickly and easily. And when paired up with a Kessler motion control system, you can easily have a parallax move run unattended. The looping feature on Kessler Unidrive works great with parallax for unmanned, repeated floating camera moves. For me, Unidrive, Parallax, and a Kessler slider are the perfect solution for adding slow, dynamic, and engaging movement to any shot.